Hi Meadville Elementary, it's me, Marsha Crowder, the instructional coach. I'm reading today, I'm reading the book, so <laughs> with the read for the record. It's Quackers by Liz Wong. She's the author and the illustrator. The author wrote the book, the illustrator drew the pictures. Author, illustrator, same person, Liz Wong. Sorry, a dog wants to play with me right now, and I don't want to play with her. I want to read with you. Okay. All right. Quackers, Liz Wong. Here's the back of the book. Quackers. Quackers is a duck. Everyone he knows is a duck. And then he meets Mittens. Meow. Look at all those ducks. And there he is. Quackers. It says, Liz Wong debuts a quirky tale of standing out, fitting in, and building a life with room for all. There you go. Look again. Okay. Let's go. Let's read for the record. Here's the inside of the book. Look how cute. We've got ducks. We've got cattails. And we've got lily pads. Isn't that cute? All right. Let's go. Quackers by Liz Wong. And some ducks. There's somebody hiding in the cattails there. Quackers. This is the title page, because there's the title. Title page. She dedicated this book for my family, a whole flock of odd ducks. Ha <laughs> ha, that's so funny. A whole flock, it's a lot of them. A flock is a lot of them, a lot of birds. Uh, ducks. It's very funny. Okay, here we go. Here's Quackers. Quackers is saying, meow. Quackers is a duck. Does that look like a duck to you? If I showed you this, when you think this would say meow? Meow. This is Quackers. Quackers is a duck. That's what it says right here. Quackers is a duck. Meow. That's what it says. That's what Miss Wong wrote. Quackers is a duck. He knows he is a duck because he lives at the duck pond with all the other ducks. Look, there they are. There's Quackers. There are all the other ducks. They're swimming in the little pond. That one's diving down. That one's with Mommy. And there's Quackers, who says, Meow. Meow. Okay, all right. Okay. And everyone he knows is a duck. Let's see. Duck. 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 Duck, 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 and duck, 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 duck. Hmm, but sometimes he feels like he doesn't quite fit in. Looks like he doesn't quite fit in. Does he look like the other ducks to you? Does he look like the other ducks? Got a beak? No, I guess that would be a bill, wouldn't it? Whoops. And let's see. Does he have webbed feet? Does he have webbed feet? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't quite look like the other ducks, does he? Well, let's see. Let's see. Hmm. He often has trouble communicating. Communicating is when you talk to each other, like you tell each other your feelings, like my dog is telling me she wants her frisbee and I'm not giving it to her. So you talk to each other and you tell each other your feelings and how you're feeling. So here's Quackers here trying to talk to her friend, the duck, and so she's saying, meow, 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 and the duck is saying back, quack, 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 meow, 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 me
it's not they're just not quite talking they can't understand each other he doesn't care much for the dinner options either doesn't care much for the dinner options let's see what we have to eat let's see we have slugs we have snails seeds worms algae duckweed not duckweed again says quackers ew wow most of all quackers hates getting wet they don't look like they hate getting wet they look like they're kind of happy when you say they're happy they're communicating that they're quite happy getting wet quackers does not like getting wet Hmm. looks like he's happy not happy getting wet then one day quackers met a very strange duck that duck said meow 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 hmm quackers was overjoyed overjoyed it's a vocabulary word that's a new vocabulary word for you guys overjoyed that means you are super excited about something you're overjoyed you understand me of course I do I've never met a duck who understood me uh, a duck so see that's not actually what they sound like. They're probably going meow 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 meow. But that's really what they were communicating with each other. Meow 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 meow. Wait a second. You think you're a duck? That's what he's saying. You think you're a duck? Huh. The strange duck, whose name turned out to be Mittens, seemed to find something very amusing. Another vocabulary word. Amusing. Okay, let's see what we think amusing means just from looking at how Mittens is acting. Amusing. <laughs> he thinks he's a duck. He thinks he's a duck. <laughs> amusing. Ah, it's something funny. Amusing. Amusing means something funny. Something we find kind of hilarious. Look. Quackers doesn't seem to think it's so funny, does he? Quackers doesn't find it amusing. Mittens finds it very amusing that Quackers thinks he's a duck. Well, let's see. Mittens thought for a moment and then he said, You better come with me. Come on, come with me. I've got something to show you. So they look like they're going somewhere. Looks like they're leaving the little pond behind. And he's saying, hey, come along. Let's go somewhere. Let's find something. All right. I wonder where they're going. Where do you think they're going? Where do you think Mittens, who doesn't seem to be a real duck, and he knows he's not a duck, where do you think Mittens has taken crackers who is not a duck. Where do you think he's taking him? Could he be taking him to a, um, I think he's taking him to a, um, I think he's taking, well, let's see. Let's find out. Mitten says, that's where I live. He's showing him. And Quackers is like, oh, that's where. Quackers had never been anywhere so entirely unlike home. And Mittens is saying, come on in. Come on in. I want you to see what it's like. He's so sure Quackers is going to like it. And I think Lucy thinks he might like it too. Stop. Inside was a whole flock of strange ducks. Ducks just like quackers all right now remember this is quackers this is quackers name quackers 
they're just like quackers aren't they quackers is a really a cat just like him just like him so there they are their whole flock now flock is talking about a lot of birds are they birds no they're cats it's a whole bunch of cats just look at all those ducks quacker says we're cats silly we're cats meow we're cats look at him we chase mice look, he's, oh this is way more fun than swimming look he's, they're chasing little mouse we drink milk so much tastier than duckweed look at them yum 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 and we clean ourselves and uh quackers is saying well um this isn't quite as exciting ah you get used to it mitten says and so he's licking his hand oh, his paw he's licking his paw so look he's licking his paw he cute 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 so let's see, do you think Mittens, do you think Mittens was really nice to Quackers to let him into his home, to let him see what it was like for a real cat, to see what it was like to have a nice home, to come to a real cat home? I think that was kind of nice of him. So, before long, <sighs> Quackers, he felt right at home. Look, look, I bet they were purring. I bet they were making that cat noise. They went purr. And they're sweet. Look at them all cozy and comfy. They had chased mice and they were tired. But Quackers liked being a cat, but you know, he began to miss that duck pond. And he missed the rustle of the wind through the reeds. He missed that noise. He kind of, kind of missed that. And he missed snuggling under a warm, feathery wing. Because, you know, that's what baby ducks do. They kind of get under their mother's wing. And that's what Quackers did. Kind of strange, but that's what he did. He even missed the taste of duckweed. Ew. Hmm. That's really, this isn't so bad when he's thinking about it. He's thinking about all of this. He's kind of thinking about home and what it was like where he grew up. And so, Quackers kind of, he went back home. There he is, he's going back home to the pond. So when he arrived back at the pond, he realized that most of all, he missed his friends look. Quack, 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 purr, purr, look, isn't that sweet? They missed him too. I think they did. They missed their friend Quackers. It's kind of sweet. So now, Quackers spends part of his days at the farm chasing mice. Oh, this is fun, he says. Drinking milk. Mmm, I like milk. And cleaning himself. He says this part is still not great. Eh, probably gets um, hairballs in his throat. And part of his day at the pond. Let me see what he's saying. Who wants duckweed? Look, he picked a whole bunch of duckweed. And this little duck is saying, grab mine. Whack! Quack, he wants some. And look, they're all saying, we want some, we want some. <laughs> let's see, let's see, what's next? That's sweet of him to share his duckweed. It's probably bitter. Ew. I don't think I want any duckweed. So, Quackers is a duck, and Quackers is a cat. But most of all, he's just quackers and that makes him completely happy so look at him look at quackers his friends accept him for who he is that's kind of sweet they don't make fun of him 
Mittens doesn't make fun of him when he's with his duck friends. And his cat friends don't make fun of him when he's with his duck friends. That's pretty cool. So now on this back page, you can see Quackers playing with all of his friends, having fun no matter where he is. He can be different and he can have fun no matter where he is and what he's doing. So, I hope you enjoyed the reading of this story. It only took me 15 minutes. So you have a fantastic day. We will log this in as our read for the record. And thank you much for listening. Goodbye.